myocardial infarction myocardial infarction produces three basic changes in the leads facing the infarcted wall number 1 elevation of the st segment indicating zone of injury number 2 inversion of the t wave indicating the effect of surrounding ischemic zone and number 3 a deep and wide q wave indicating the zone of infarct or dead muscle these are the three cardinal signs on ecg in acute myocardial infarction the diagnosis is supported by reciprocal changes in the leads facing the opposite wall these leads will show a depression of the st segment and tall upright t waves now in clinical practice these changes do not appear simultaneously when an infarct occurs the first change to appear in ecg is an elevation of st segment with tall peaked t wave this appears within a few minutes or may take a few hours to be seen which means that an ecg taken immediately after the onset of chest pain may be normal and it must be repeated after a few hours if clinically myocardial infarction is suspected note the st segment elevation of about 3 mm in this ecg this st segment elevation will stay for 2 to 3 days and gradually return to base level over 1 to 2 weeks the t wave which becomes tall immediately on blocking of coronary artery becomes inverted after 2 days and remains inverted for 3 weeks then gradually it becomes flat and then upright over 2 to 3 months the q wave which is an indicator of muscle death appears after about a week and then gradually deepens and remains permanent its size being proportional to the size of the infarct now let us study the events in chronological order on the first day the st segment will be elevated with upright tall t wave but no q wave over the next two days the t wave will slowly become inverted st segment is still raised towards the end of the first week the st segment will be returning to the base level the t wave will be deeply inverted and q wave starts appearing the t wave is typically pointed and inverted with symmetrical limbs in the third week the q wave will become fully developed and the t wave will gradually become flat and start returning to normal by the end of the 3 months the st segment and t wave will return to normal and only the q wave will remain permanent of course if the size of the infarct is very small the q wave may completely disappear now let us see the same changes in a lead with negative qrs complex this is st segment elevation with upright t wave on the first day this is st segment elevation with inverted t wave during the first week now a qs complex is formed with deeply inverted t wave during second and third week and this is the picture after 3 months where the t wave has become upright and only a deep qs complex persists now that we have learned to recognize the typical changes in the leads facing the infarct let us learn how to localize the infarct leads 1 avl and chest leads face the anterior wall and show the classical changes in anterior wall infarction leads 2 3 avf face the inferior wall and hence show the classical changes in inferior wall infarction this also means that in anterior wall infarction leads 2 3 and avf will show the reciprocal changes of st segment depression and tall t waves and in inferior wall infarction leads 1 avl and the chest leads will show these reciprocal changes to understand this concept better let us view the heart from the lateral side these are the anterior inferior and true posterior walls 
the anterior wall is supplied by anterior descending branch of the left coronary artery posterior wall is supplied by the left circumflex branch of the left coronary artery and the inferior wall is supplied by the posterior descending branch of the right coronary artery now when we overlap the leads the anterior wall is picked by one avl v2 to v6 v5 and v6 picking the lateral most part inferior wall is picked by 2 3 and avf and the posterior wall is picked by v1 and v2 in the form of reciprocal changes as no lead actually faces the posterior wall the extent of anterior wall in fact can be further studied in the chest leads if the st segment elevation is seen in the leads v2 to v4 it is an anteroseptal in fact in anteroseptal in fact the changes may not appear in leads 1 and avl if the st segment elevation is seen in leads v4 to v6 that is lateral chest leads it is an anterolateral in fact and if it is seen in all the chest leads it is an extensive anterior wall in fact in this ecg leads 2 3 and avf on the right show marked st segment elevation while leads 1 and avl on the left show reciprocal st depression so this is an inferior wall in fact a fresh inferior wall in fact now see the chest leads reciprocal st depression is seen in v1 v2 v3 and v4 because chest leads face the anterior wall this ecg shows st elevation in leads 1 and avl and reciprocal st depression in leads 2 3 and avf this is an anterior wall in fact the chest leads show st elevation from v1 to v5 so this is an extensive anterior wall in fact note in v3 st elevation of more than 5 mm in this ecg leads 1 and avl show st segment elevation the t waves are slightly inverted so this is a 2 to 3 day old anterior wall in fact the leads 2 3 and avf show marked st segment depression suggesting an extensive infarct more the depressions and elevations more extensive is the infarct note in close up view st elevation with q wave in anterior leads and reciprocal st depression in inferior wall leads note the very tall st segment elevations from v1 to v5 this is a fresh and extensive anterior wall in fact this ecg shows leads 2 3 and avf with slight st elevation and deeply inverted symmetrical t waves this indicates an inferior wall in fact which is 2 to 3 weeks old note the reciprocal tall t waves in 1 and avl this t wave inversion persists for 2 to 3 months in this ecg the chest leads show st elevation in v2 and v3 only this indicates a small anteroseptal in fact it is about 2 to 3 days old as t wave has started inverting the limb leads may not show any changes in a small anteroseptal in fact here there is minimal st elevation only in avl in this ecg note the marked st segment depression in inferior wall leads 2 3 and avf the st segment is depressed by up to 10 mm there is st elevation in avl with tall t waves in 1 and avl this is a very fresh anterior wall in fact note again in close up view the marked st changes more the amplitude of st elevations and depression more is the severity of infarct in this ecg note the marked st elevation in leads 2 3 and avf 
there is reciprocal st depression in leads 1 and avl this is an inferior wall infarct the st elevation with upright tall t waves indicates that it is fresh less than 1 day old in the chest leads there is reciprocal and marked st depression from v2 to v6 more the number of leads showing stt changes more is the severity of the infarct so this is fresh and extensive inferior wall infarct in this ecg strip note the deep q waves in leads 2 3 and avf the st segment is isoelectric and there is no t wave inversion so this is an old inferior wall infarct at least 3 months old the same ecg note in close up view that the q wave is deep as well as wide a pathological q wave at this stage we will learn an important point about q wave this ecg shows a q wave in lead 3 but there is no q wave in 2 and avf when a q wave is present only in lead 3 it may be due to a high diaphragm take the ecg again in deep inspiration and if the q wave is non pathological it will reduce in size or disappear see this continuous tracing in deep inspiration there is no q wave but on expiration the q wave reappears this is a normal non pathological q wave so if q wave is seen only in lead 3 take a tracing in deep inspiration now see another tracing no q wave in inspiration marked i and note the appearance of q wave during expiration lead 3 of this ecg shows deep q wave isoelectric st segment and deeply inverted symmetrical arrowhead like t wave of inferior wall myocardial infarction this picture is seen between 3 weeks to 3 months if st segment elevation persists after 6 months it suggests a development of ventricular aneurysm in leads 1 and avl of this ecg note the st segment elevation with inverting t wave indicating a 2 to 3 day old myocardial infarction the chest leads show st elevations and t wave inversions in v2 to v6 an extensive anterior wall infarct this is another inferior wall infarct with st elevation in 2 3 and avf and st depression in 1 and avl the t waves are just inverting so the infarct is 2 to 3 days old in close up view note the deep q wave st elevation in 3 and avf and the reciprocal st depression in avl and v3 